Hi, I am Jean Stinge. I am an assistant professor. Uh, I work at ICESP, Instituto do Câncer do Estado de São Paulo, an oncological referral center. The role of extended pelvic nephro dissection in the surgical management of prostate cancer patients remains controversial because there is a lack of randomized control trials. To fill this knowledge gap, we published the first phase three randomized control trial to investigate the therapeutic role of extended pelvic nephro dissection. So uh, we randomized and treated 300 patients at a single institution in Brazil, uh, 150 patients in extended group and 150 patients in limited group. And the extended section showed five times more lymph node metastasis. So this trial confirmed that extended pelvic lymph node section provides better pathological staging, while the difference in early oncological outcomes were not demonstrated. In an exploratory subgroup analysis, patients with preoperative biopsy ISUP grade groups 3 to 5 who were allocated to extended pelvic lymph node section had better biochemical recurrence free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.33. So, uh, this is only hypothesis generating and further Randomized control trials with larger cohorts and longer follow-up are necessary to better define the role of extended pelvic lymph node dissection during radical prostatectomy. Uh, this number is per patient, not per site. In fact, uh, we used the limited dissection template, not the standard dissection template. That is, only the tissue of the obturator fossa, whose boundaries were external iliac vein, internal iliac artery, pelvic floor, and obturator nerve. Maybe because of that, the median number of dissected lymph nodes in the limited group appears to be low. Oh, yes. Uh, we did not specify this region in the template, but the lymph nodes in Marcius fossa were removed as we skeletonized the obturator nerve. Uh, they were predominantly pelvic and retroperitoneal lymph nodes and bony lesions mainly in the spine. Uh, yes, given the biological characteristics of prostate cancer, we have defined as protocol the minimum follow-up time to be 10 years. Uh, the primary endpoint was five-year biochemical recurrence free survival. When median follow-up time was closed to reaching 60 months, we analyzed using the date of death or the date of last PSA as cutoff data. Sincerely, I think no. The dissection template is the same independently of the access method chosen, open or laparoscopic or robotic. Therefore, doing robotic should not impact biochemical recurrence free survival.